discovered that they were still digging, but they'd found something bigger than a bone, Dr. Bakker's SUV. He dubbed it the Toyota Saurus. I was chugging along and sank some wheels, and the kids got out and pushed me out, and I was out. I was doing fine. All of a sudden, it just collapsed. The world collapsed underneath slowly capsized, and there I was, semi-upside down. The kids were saying, wow, cool! We're taking pictures. No one was hurt, and it gave Bakker a chance to find some things he hadn't hurt. seen for a while. Unfortunately, tow trucks don't make house calls to Dino Dig. The plan is we're trying to get two vehicles on it. We want to pull it over on its wheels and then also drag it back. Maybe not so, Maybe not the same thing. We're not sure what we're doing. This gave the volunteers a deeper understanding of a paleontologist's glamorous life. Where, right here? Right here? The distinction between volunteer scientists and work release felons from Rollins. It's pretty small. <sighs> Just the difference between volunteering and being voluntold. While an all-terrain SUV or truck is overkill in the city, Four-wheel drive and a long tow rope come in handy out here. It didn't look too bad, but it did need a new tire. Even the jacks are giant-sized in Wyoming. Can you change the air freshener and uh, do some detailing? He thought his four tires were worth more than the truck. The Wyoming way is by really good tires and really cheap socks. Finally, the Toyota Source roared to life. It was time to head in to work in the lab. This gives the volunteers a chance to see where the real scientific work is done. In the field, your entire goal is simply to collect things. You have no idea what it all means. You can't, you don't have enough time to put it together. Scientific analysis is done in the lab. This is one thing that makes the Paleon experience different. There are many different field programs out there, and they take them in the field for a week or so, and that's all they see. You see the collection part, well, big part that's back here, and getting into the resources. How do you take it from the a really dirty thing you found in the fields and produce a very beautiful bone, hopefully, that you can pick up the hole. You're going to have lots of saw teeth and, and, and a small mouth. Right. After three days, everyone was getting a thorough indoctrination into paleontology, but there was more to come.